This is the Doctor continuing the Battle Brothers Season 2 Anonymous playthrough. I was out traveling for a while and then I got back. Since the Witch Hut, I just ran around, killed some random stuff. Nothing was interesting until we came across this camp with a chosen champion, armored unholds, and some reavers plus many barbarian chosen. We haven't had a good barbarian battle this run. Uh, so let's do it. I brought Krog along with his spear. He might be able to do some stuff. And if he can't, he'll bust out a hammer and hit. And if he can't hit, he dies. And I do not care. Aya is here looking beautiful with the Emperor's armor. He's got the fur padding. Absurd defense. He should be alright. Geralt is here. I've even bought a leather scale armor and put the Kraken... Uh, attachment on it i think the kraken attachment is especially good on nimble characters because it works even after the armor is destroyed and it works on your hit points so and if he gets some stacks Geralt will be basically unkillable and i've said that about the mountain is it going to be true for Geralt? i honestly have no idea maybe he will still die horribly uh, who knows? He does have the potion that resurrects him. He really, and like healing. He dies, I don't know what's happening. And uh, with the unholds, we have to bring plenty of tanks. Klaus will come along and I'm going to give him one of these um, attachments, the horn plates. I think they are the best for like high hit point nimble characters. I have one more horn plate I could attach. I don't know if it's actually good for Battleforge characters. If someone actually knows the answer to that, let me know. We have uh, Tormach here. He's gonna have some problems this fight. His damage is insane, assuming he can hit. But the problem is Chosen at 15 defense. He can't get confident, he's, so he's gonna have like a 70% chance to hit. But I, I have to see those damage numbers, okay? I don't think Tormok's actually that good this fight. Maverick, I think, is better because of his nine lives. But you know what? I have to see it. I have to see it. Uh, and then I brought b -Rez here. I specifically did not equip him with his golden armor uh, because I did not want to put a fur attachment on it. Thinking the golden armor needs to go into the final battle at the Black Monolith. I'll almost certainly attach some protective runes and sigil. So I've given him a slightly different kit. Uh, put some fur padding on it because it's good against um, barbarians. And uh, with his iron lungs and sword mastery, he can always swing twice even when out of fatigue. So fatigue's not that important for him. No gratis here, of course, with some nets and a couple of shenanigans. Uh, Nataros is here. Drower is very good. Rhubarb uh, with his footwork nonsense. Oh man, I feel like the footwork nonsense could really mess up the barbarians. Uh, Aspen is here. He does not have the fur padding. And nine lives. Let's see how nine lives works. Will it keep him safe? I have no idea. Rages is here because he's hammers and hammers is good. And of course, Alejandro has four orc shields. As soon as he presses Indom, he should be basically invincible but let's see if that is true um i'm debating swapping the trinket but i don't think that's necessary if he press ingdom like the barbarian is just gonna break his shield uh the question is can we get him up in the face of multiple barbarians despite the fact that there are unholds that is the question all right let's see how this battle goes the chosen champion is very very dangerous but i'm not super concerned about the rest of the enemies 16 of them where is that champion over oh and he has a hammer he has a famed helmet so he doesn't have a famed weapon however i do believe he will breach Krog's spear wall so that will be a problem we're gonna have to put Krog in the middle of all crazy places Let's wait around and see what the barbarians do. Alright, hit my shield. What kind of chosen are there a lot? Um, we are obviously going to run Alejandro up to and like Indom. That's easy. Uh, so let's see what the rest of them does. Couldn't net the unhold 
and then taunt. There is a lot. Let's let's just let them all move first. No rush. Okie doke. Hmm. What I really want to do is move Alejandro up to Indom and then fall everyone else back. If Alejandro can get multiple chosen on him, we just win. Doing this, he only gets the unhold. One, two, three, four. So if I fall everybody back too. Plus that way Alejandro can get the bonus. One, two, three, four. I think that's the way to go. Alright, Nataros, chuck your javelin out of chosen. Good headshot. I'll fall back. Probably want to put Krog in the middle. B-Rez is not good enough to deal with that shows, uh, that champion. We basically have to sick Geralt on the... Tr oh my gosh. Geralt versus the champion? I can't not do it. Right? No, that's... I mean... <laughs> my tactics are always combined arm tactics. I can't, like... I can't do anything else. Ah, uh, it is what it is. Might as well end my turn immediately with Alejandro. Sure. Well, I don't know if they'll run up on me. I probably should have drone. Yeah, that was a slight mistake, but whatever. Not critical. Alright, everybody just wait. Or end your turns. Let's see what they do. That unknown's turn is done. Interesting. Yes, 5% Alejandro. He likes it. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. He's gonna adrenaline nonsense us. Okay. Oh, look at this moron! He thinks he's caught rhubarb. What sort of, like, nonsense can we do to that moron? I'm gonna wait. So the reason is, if this guy uh, adrenalines... And we somehow don't kill him with our other guys, which does seem unlikely. Hitting with Rages will cancel out their adrenaline. Oh, this battle is so exciting! I'm actually legitimately excited for a long time in battle. Like, it has been a long time since I felt excitement in Battle Brothers. Let's slap Rhubarb. Hmm... I want to see what else happens with rhubarb, so you can wait. Okay, 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 okay. I gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, we're going to wait with Krog. I want to see what else happens. Netting the champion is pretty good. Anything to boost our hit chance against that thing. Bust out the banner. Okay. Well, I have Headhunter. There is basically no reason not to do this. Come on, Nataros, buddy. Yes, good. Drop your net. You might do some other shenanigans next turn. In your turn immediately. Oh! That headshot! Let's see if any more of these barbarians are stupid enough to come in on us. The answer is no. They did end their turns immediately, so they're going to go ahead of us. 
Okay, I got a cunning plan. Cunning plan. We gotta make sure we get the unhold. Uh, they're all gonna go ahead of you, Klaus. But, ah, uh, wait. There, there's no point in not waiting. Okay. This guy's gonna adrenaline, so he will always go ahead of us no matter what. So b is gonna wait, because sword duelists aren't that great against armor. Let's see if we can penetrate that armor first. I do not care about the regular uh, hammer chosen. It don't do much. Good hit, Aya, and your turn immediately. You might go ahead of the hammer chosen. I could actually step back one. But let's wait and see what happens. Okay. It's going to be Geralt versus Chosen. Lightning sword time. Hormok, 74%. Go for the 70. Oh my gosh, that decapitation. So unbelievably satisfying. Tormach does not have underdog, so moving into this position will open himself to being a concave. Like, watch Carverhole's videos that talks about, like, concave positioning. If he goes up here, yeah, I proc two morale checks, but without underdog and being in a concave position, despite my dodge, she's going to get annihilated next turn. Whereas if I end my turn now, uh, right here, this Chosen comes up, it's in the bad position. So this game is all about positioning. How many AP does Rhubarb have? I'm not super worried about the Axe guy and I wanna hit hard. So what I'm thinking about is moving up, netting this one, then moving Aspen here. What are my options? I could move here. Net. What I really want to do is bait this moron into here. So if I net this one, I'm because they're gonna wanna aggro onto rhubarb, like the AI loves doing that. Opening me up to a potential one shot head. I just, I have to headshot the chosen, right? I have to one shot them with that flail. Why else do you play this game? Well done, Rageous. And your turn. He's staggered, so you're going to go ahead of him next turn. Let's draw. See if we can kill. 95%. They might rotate, but I... I want to say the AI will be obsessed with getting Rhubarb. Plus, I could just do that. And no need to even use a net. I'm going to drop the net on the floor because I think there's a chance I'll pull out the billhook. We don't really need it. All right, that Chosen is going to rush up and do some nonsense with Adrenaline. If I move here, it puts Krog in a bad position. But if they move up to attack Krog, that is quite all right. I don't see any point in any sort of spear wall nonsense. We're just going to whack him with Hammer and end your turn. Yep, as expected. Please go after Geralt. Everyone else is fine. AI has made a terrible mistake. I'm just going to end my turn here at Aspen. I think there's an extremely good likelihood this Chosen will come here. I don't know if the AI wants to rotate more or if it wants to, like, come at me more. I actually really want to find out. This is an important question. I could also just move Klaus up to make sure, like, the Unho gets only on him, which I think is pretty important. All right, what are my options with b -Rez? Well, let's attack the guy who's, like injured and Alejandro I mean you don't need to do anything else yeah Scarrow likes it when he gets hit ow such rudeness okay you got the lightning sword Geralt not worried about the cleaver moron 
Uh, I was hoping the lightning would go on the other guy. Uh, just wait. There's no reason not to. Yes, break my shield. I like it. Tormach. Oh my gosh. Another decapitate. Wait. This Chosen might be stupid enough to come in on us. Yep. Good. Yes. Yes. The AI has fallen for my trap. <laughs> okay. We're going to wait. Uh, no. He's faster than us. So this is where ending your turn immediately matters. Rages is going to swing and end his turn immediately. Let us wait on Nograd to see what to do next. I haven't quite figured it out. This guy's got two turns. If I just 80% him, he's dead with Krog. Well done. I'm losing the Lone Wolf here on Alejandro, but it doesn't matter. Let us see what else these idiots do first. Wait on Rhubarb. The Taros, can you headshot this Chosen? Yes! Oh, a thing of beauty. Uh, Chosen have Underdog, so moving up with Nataros to try to get surround bonuses doesn't do anything. 72%! <gasps> Another the dream, the one shot Chosen dream. This, oh my god, this battle. As just like the most memes you will ever see in a Battle Brothers episode. First of all, there were like barbarians and unhoes and chosen and a champion or whatever, right? Like, what exactly did they even do to me? I think they hit Geralt once so far. That's pretty much it. They might hit a couple other guys, but like we've just been one-shotting them or like decapitating them before they even know what is going on. That is how aggressive we are. These like tactics to bait them. I have a feeling this barbarian idiot is going to come up right here to try to zone rhubarb. They seem to love doing that for whatever bizarre reason. Uh, and so I'm gonna bet on that again and just like wait Aya you can move up and swing away with your axe deep face cut. I love it and your turn immediately B res move up kill another headshot Everyone's just like headshotting like a pro This guy's gonna throw his like nonsense twice So move B res up one and just end your turn. There's no reason to do anything else Alejandro Indom of course Oh, look at all these headshots. That was another headshot. The number of headshots we're doing this this episode is just like out of this world. He's going to run here and swing at Rhubarb. This Reaver, he's pretty quick. I No, Tormach is not going to outspeed that thing. But we might proc a morale check. Uh, definitely Indom to prevent the throws. I could also taunt this Chosen over here and then annihilate it. But I want to see like what the AI does more than anything else. I could also taunt this one onto Klaus, but... Um, I actually will save my fatigue, just end your turn immediately. Good hit, no grod. Rhubarb, 95%, yes, he's broken. So I'm gonna move over one. Make sure this Chosen, if he runs up on Rhubarb, he can't actually attack. The Taros. I'm gonna gamble, this one's gonna come up. So, and then I'm gonna headshot him. Yes. Yes, hit Garrow, he likes it. Not gonna attack. I wanna see what the AI does. Uh, didn't do what I thought, but close enough. It basically passed its turn. Frog, move up. Okay, Rhubarb. Oh, I have Headhunter, right? 
Uh, wait, Rhubarb. I'm gonna maximize the headhunt nonsense. I think, uh, we can wait here. So, javelins have more armor penetration compared to bill hooks. So, I'm gonna javelin. Ah. That's okay. That's okay. It's all okay. E res. Let's swing and a miss. Blouse. Wait. And, um, of course. Alright. Geralt. Swords are notoriously bad against um, that much armor. But Torma can do it. Wow. Oh. We also have Rages. Okay, Rhubarb. Um, why don't you billhook that thing? What are my odds? 95%. I actually think the billhook is substantially lower. Yep. So that would have been a hit with the... Uh, but I don't honestly care. He's staggered. I have enough hits to guarantee killing him next turn. Oh, he might throw Tormach and swing at Aspen. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Alright, I have the Lightning Sword. Wow! It's like a swap to the other sword, but no reason to do it yet. Uh, let's see. Krog. Wait. Now we just just kill that thing. Aspen, 93 miss. Beautiful. Taros. Alright, this guy has full armor. I want to see that Bill Hook headshot. Alright. Get the moron. Aya. Oh, he's confused. Let's spend this time recovering. All right, now Geralt will be able to do a good job. No need to do lunge or any of that nonsense. Rhubarb up. Can we catch that drummer? The answer is probably not. Wow! This weapon. 90 damage, 70 damage. That's a two-handed cleaver amount of damage. Oh, he's going to fight the Unhold? I love it. Let's uh, smash the Unhold. The Unhold's probably going to fight the Barbarian for us. Nice work, Rhubarb. That was only 93 damage from the two-handed attack. Compared to, like, the power... Of the, um, that cleaver. That cleaver is just unbelievable. All right, cover. I don't think we can catch that fleeing thing unless I release a dog, which I might. I might. So hitting it might cause a morale drop. The odds are so low. Don't really want him. Well, him tossing is not actually the worst thing. I'm actually going to do some waiting. And I am go going to make sure it's a surrounded before I unleash a dog. Get there with rhubarb. Wait. 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 Yep. He did what I expected. All right. Now I can get everybody up on this clown. 
90%. Might as well wait for a little more surround bonus. I'm gonna send uh, Alejandro over. Garrow can go over as well. Rages, swap. Good hit. You know what? Let's unleash the dog next turn when he's fully surrounded. Oh, Headhunter actually being a problem right here. Ormont, go up, go over to Decapitate. Oh, the drummer ran away. All right, let's see if we can kill this thing before it acts. Beautiful. All right, we took one hit on Klaus, one hit on Alejandro's uh, because he got tossed, a few hits on Aspen, a few hits on Geralt. Nobody was even remotely in any danger. The champion was underwhelming. This is actually a really good Nimble Forge armor. Like... It is absurdly good. 273 head armor for only 12 fatigue? That's crazy. Uh, okay, I'll take all the food. I do not need any of the rest of this garbage. Look at a beautiful chosen armor. I almost want to have a set just to cosplay, but I have the Barbarian King armor, right? Somewhere? Did I sell it? I can't remember. I can't remember anything anymore. Okay, let's take a look at this helmet because it actually looks like legitimate Nimble Forge armor. Yeah. Well. Hmm, 76% versus. Oh, wow. It needs to be repaired first. Uh, Tormok looks incredible with that. Oh, my God. God, I don't even care if this is like l more or less optimal. I can't figure that out, but this cleaver with that, uh, I don't know. It's pretty epic. Let's let's do it. Let's keep tormocking this armor and let's see how things look like this. All right, so I was trying to find the Ezerok. I think it's been a while. I think I came down here, explored all this. I couldn't find it. I came back up here. So let's keep going, scouting this area. Try to find an Easier Rock. Could be like in any of these places. Maybe find another Barbarian camp. Something like fun to fight, like that last battle. Like it was so memey. I love it. Just need like more Barbarians, like more Chosen or something for us to one shot. That'd be nice. I don't think I explored this area. Hmm. Oh, I, I can't remember if I explored this little patch either. So we have to explore all of this. Ezerok could be in any of these places. Uh, I really hope it wasn't in like some tiny little corner. I think I explored this. Nighttime's not good for exploring either. I think I explored all of that. So we went like this. Could be down here, you never know. Uh, okay, sure. Giant orc camp in the tundra. Yeah, we're just gonna fight all the orcs or barbarians. That looks like a warlord champion again. Alrighty, I've assembled the squad. It looks very much like the last squad, except I subbed in Bob the Beast with no shield to maximize that recovery value. Uh, I would love to put a goblin poison on you, and I do have one. Fantastic. Could do some nonsense to the orc warriors. I'm going to attach this uh, Protective Runes and Sigil on this golden armor because I'm going to do that anyway for the Black Monolith. 
Uh, and might as well have it on B-Res, because uh, the Orc Warlord can do some of that nonsense as well. So, got plenty of anti-armor. Aspen leveled up. Not going to be one-shotting things, but that is alright. As long as Alejandro can hold like four of them by himself, we just win. Uh, so, that's the strategy. There is no like mystery to this battle. Probably going to be like 24, yep. So, we're going to do the same tactic we did last time against this many orcs. Uh, I'm going to fall back, have Alejandro try to tank four of them. Ideally, we tank the champion. Then we win. No reason not to wait. Bunch. These trees are unbelievably good for us. Um, really want to make sure Alejandro gets on the warriors and not these like puny orc young. Let's see where the warlord is. Okay, he's pretty scary looking. Got himself a cleaver. We have to do some taunt nonsense. Is there any way we can get Alejandro on him? No, not really. But we should be able to DPS him down. Or we could get Rhubarb to do the infinite footwork trick. I mean, you just have so many options. How many warriors are there? Uh, there's four of them over that side. Only three this side. Hmm. Really need to try to get Alejandro over there somehow, but even tying down three should be enough. Can get Bob the Beast on that champion. We're gonna have a good time. All right, if I go there, can he get zoned? The answer is yes. By that orc warrior. One, two, three, four. But I could do some footwork nonsense with rhubarb. Put a Krog on this high ground. I don't think the orcs will want to go on that high ground. Oops, I may have messed something up a little bit. Nah, no, not really. We're fine. Okay. Question is, where do we put Alejandro? We just run him up two or one, and aim down. It's actually pretty good. I think the orc young will all avoid him. These two will either have to waste their time or try to engage. We are, of course, putting B res out here to absorb the attacks. I could come here and then just inf oh no the orc berserker will mess up that plan he'll stun one two three four so if i leave rhubarb here this warrior is going to come up put work and the warriors are going to get m messed up at the choke point that's not terrible although there's no reason to like waste my footwork Let's do this with Rhubarb. Get that super scary berserker. Set back one. I'm gonna wait on everyone else. 
This high ground looks tempting. Let's see what they do. I might fall off it because orcs will waste all sorts of AP to move around this high ground and can't get to us. Like the 10% attack bonus is irrelevant here. Uh, and the defense bonus is irrelevant because they're going to push me off. Whereas the terrain will force them, like if they come this way, it's going to force them to sp like spend AP climbing up, spend AP climbing down, and then these trees are going to block them. They're going to get so messed up here. That's the real advantage of this high ground. Let's see what they do. Oh, yes, yes. We know, know the they love rhubarb. Okay. No, they love rhubarb. I need to see what the rest of them does. Alright, some of them are coming for Krog. Good. Uh... Three is not ideal. But that might be enough. Let's wait. None of them can do anything, right? Well, that one. Okay, I have to end um, That one could charge and stun me, which would be very, very bad. Okay, how do we want to position everyone? <laughs> B-Res would be a god up here. And Klaus would be a god over here. Arrow back. Bob the beast moves. So we're gonna put Klaus over here. Be res up there. Oh, Rhubar moves one. I have to actually put Klaus up there. Okay, again, like... I don't actually... They don't have Pathfinder. I don't actually care about the hill. Let's make them waste their turns. Let's see what they do. Actually, have if rhubarb gets stunned, it's okay. We'll find back next turn. Yeah, we have some tricks. We have some tricks. Yeah, that's to be expected. I don't want to break formation. Good hit, Rages. Alright, I mean, we tanked a couple. That's good enough. Wow, that champion is fast. <laughs> Kronk is actually pretty good one-on-one. -on -one. That champion can actually get in here. We could just keep taunting him, but...
He has a cleaver against Klaus. And we can't focus fire. It's actually kind of problematic. Hmm. Ruar getting stunned was like definitely the problem here. I know for a fact this guy's gonna come in. Okay, I'm gonna do something that seems a little weird. I'm gonna move Krog up, Spearwall, and end my turn immediately. So I can go ahead of these Orc Warriors. If Krog gets caught here, it's fine. Um, he doesn't have Underdog. He's actually pretty good one-on-one. -on -one. This will prevent the Warlord from coming or has an extremely high chance. Okay, he waited. He doesn't like... I'm gonna wait here on Aspen. Okay, now... Need to move you down. Yep. Getting blocked by the trees. And then Klaus should, uh, Krog should be fast enough to move his himself out next. I am might get stunned, but it is what it is. Um, try to kill. Uh, Alejandro lured off four, but it's not as good as last time. Still, it is what it is. Apply the poison. Arrow will kill that one. Ormok. No point to disarming, he's being taunted. Okay, okay, okay! Yes, if you go on Alejandro, we win. Uh, I don't know if Orc's gonna come here, so Aspen, just end your turn. Be res, like, invincible on the hill. Uh, this seems like a time for the lightning sword. I might get stunned again, Geralt, but it is what it is. Don't forget, Aya's actually kind of a tank. So, he's quite alright. b -Rez is not invincible. That one could one-shot him. I am going to leave Rhubarb here since this Orc Berserker is getting taunted. And I don't want an Orc coming... Okay, very rude. Alright, there we go. As expected, this one doesn't get to go ahead of me. Now seems like a good time to spear wall and wait, let them do some, like, let them mess themselves up. Hey, Aspen. Mm. Shield wall. No reason not to wait, b -Rez. I'm gonna need some nets over on this corner. Oh, Krog! Come on, buddy! Okay, this is actually a problem now. Did they all go yet? Not quite. But, okay, Aya, end your turn immediately. Battle is not going nearly as smoothly. Okay, there is one other thing I could do. 
there is a pretty good chance Alicantro can get himself out here and then just like run up in the face of that warlord. I actually think I have to take that chance. Because that warlord is like the real threat. I don't care about the rest of them. Alejandro is a super elite tank. Uh, he's going to get hit a bunch without Indom, but as soon as he pressed the Indom button, he is completely invincible. Worried about this one coming here and one-shotting b -Rez, but I don't think there's anything I can actually do about it. It's not even a guaranteed one-shot. I could drop a dog here. I don't think that's actually a good thing. Okay, I need Tormach up here to protect Krog. Need Bob the Beast here to help. Okay, now. Aya can take several of them. We need to kill that Orc Berserker. I have a cunning plan. Okay, Rages. Good. Good, good. I was counting on that. Okay, okay. Alandro's still an ultra elite tank. He's going to get a whole bunch of attacks and he won't have Indom up, but he is Alejandro. He is not... He is strong. We have to pray b -Rez doesn't get one-shotted. I don't think there's anything to be done about it. Oh, there is a way. I could drop a dog here. That would actually prevent b -Rez from getting one-shotted. Uh, yeah, that seems pretty good. Wow, these dogs are so good against berserkers. Okay. Uh... Do I want to do some sort of rotation nonsense? I don't think so. I'm going to assume the upper part can handle themselves. We just need to kill our way through this young real quick. Get on the warlord. As soon as we kill the warlord, we win. Aya can take this, these fools for a little bit. Got some tricks up north. So we're just gonna max, like maximize our kills. Taunt this one up. Actually, quite like a shield. Shield wall here. Okay. If I kill this one, that would be bad. 84%. Okay, they're still wasting their turns a little bit. I don't care about that one. Well done, Geralt. Okay, wait. Bob the Beast. Okay, he's punk poison. He can only swing once. Wait, Bob the Beast. No rush. This one has a good chance of stunning Tormach, so there's re no reason not to attack. 
Let us disarm. This one's going to come in. And then this one's going to get stuck and can't do anything. I don't think... It might try to push over here. Try to get at Bob the Beast. Then Tormont might get very surrounded. Technically, Krog has his spear wall up right now. So these two are actually kind of stuck. I don't see the point in this army. What I'm actually going to do is swap to the cleaver. Yep, I have 22%. Poor dog. But it is what it is. Warlord's confident. That's scary. Courageous. Go for the hammer. And your turn immediately. Could matter. Yep. 49% Alejandro. Good work. You just need to spam that Indom button and then you're all right. Let's um, go for the kill on the Berserker. I think with the high ground, I'll have a 95%. This one's going to come in, but Rhubarb can always footwork himself out. One turn. Sure. And you move over here and end your turn immediately, no bro? Oh, I'm getting chain stunned. I'm on Alejandro. Question is, do I spear wall t for more delaying tactics or just start smashing? I like spear wall for more delaying tactics. I'm going to wait to attack because this berserker hasn't gone yet. Uh, Aya, get the one in the back. That's the dangerous one. Wait. That's okay. Taunted. Actually, I'm gonna do something weird. I'm gonna recover right away. Andrew, they're all going to go ahead of you next turn, but you haven't actually taken any damage yet. Again, Bob the Beast, poison that idiot and just end your turn. We drop a dog here to tank his Orc Warrior. That's actually pretty good. Okay. Do not want any more stuns. This I is actually in a little bit of danger. He's a tank, but oh, the the AI should split fire. They, they should target Geralt, who does not care. Or they could just miss. That also works. Let them come in. This one's poison. Again, no reason to attack yet. Rageous. Smash. And your turn immediately could be relevant. Yeah, Geralt doesn't care. Oh, that was the, uh, the thing that, like, uh, reflects damage. Wow. 14 turns, 3 turns, we can taunt. So we're really in quite good position. Let's bill hook that idiot and end your turn immediately. No reason not to. Okay, good, good. Aspen, you're not getting stunned. Someone wants to push Geralt. Quite okay with that. <laughs> oh, 
Haunted. Your shield wall. Wow, Alejandro. We're talking about elite tanks. We're not kidding. Ten turns. Let's just keep up like the nonsense. Because why not? Alright, B res. One's double gripping. Double hit, double kill. Orc warrior is very likely to shield wall and swing once. Basically, you do nothing and you're turned immediately. Okay. I mean, that uh, works. Uh, Alejandro, you can you can bust out your shield. It's only a 27% anyway. Berserkers are, of course, more dangerous. You would hit Aya. Ooh! I did not expect the push on the dog. Okay. Oh, you're okay, Alejandro. Frog is probably dead here. We're gonna need to do some emergency maneuvers to save him. He's poisoned still. No reason to keep attacking yet. All right, yeah, that's great. I mean, they're gonna concentrate their fire on you, Krog. Get him, Geralt. All right, get the other one. You're almost fully healed. All right, good job, Permak. You broke one. Bob the Beast, go for the brakes now into Overwhelm. There you go. Two down. These orcs have not seen my battle tactics. Clearly. They don't know what's going on. Despite the fact that Aspen gets chain stunned. There you just end your turn immediately after killing that idiot. It's okay. The uh, Relentless allows... Um, Tormach to go f uh, to like basically bypass the stun. Good job, Rhubarb. So now you're gonna footwork down and start dealing with the rest of these idiots. No Graz got most of these clowns. Are you taunted? Yeah, we should be able to murder those. Alejandro has the Indom. Two of these are fleeing. The Berserker in the upper corner is the most dangerous, but I need to keep Nograd here for the banner buff. Oh, a champion hit me for 22 damage in the head. Whatever will I do? B res on the hill, as you can see, is a uh, orc killing god. I have a feeling this. Let's let the orc warrior attack me. I don't need to shoot wall or anything. Four turns. Uh, I mean, there's no reason not to like taunt. Klaus has even better defense. Go swap to the heater shield now. Uh, that's a problem. I didn't expect him to hit twice like that. Alright, good job, doggo. Oh, that was a double headshot. Alright, so what I was gonna do... Bust out the hammer. I think I need to do that. You could die. It'll be fine. Where should Geralt go? I haven't actually figured it out. There's no rush. The Aya can deal with that one. Okay, so normally I don't attack fleeing enemy. No, I think that's still correct to not attack fleeing enemies.
Normally, I don't want tackling enemies here, but I need to... Think about a trick. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. That was pointless. Okay. Aegis. Start working at champion. Good job, Aspen. I should have used a more accurate javelin. Eh, wouldn't have mattered. Okay, I might need to use no Gra to do some rotation. Figure it out in a moment. Good job, Aya. Krog. You could kill one. That's what I should have done. Okay. This is weird. If I attack him, it doesn't accomplish anything. If I kill this one, now I can move, free up the space for Bob the Beast to do something. Just don't hit me in the head. Okay, 52%. Shockingly good odds. Wow, it's going to take a while to bust through this guy's armor. So... Let's wait on B-Rez. Not being taunted. I'm gonna... Recover. I think he's likely to push and get on Geralt, which is totally fine. I might need Klaus to do something else. Okay, that works. Oh, wow. Tw 12 damage this time. Poor dog. I think Aya's got that. Okay, Bob the Beast. Move here to proc a morale check. Seems pretty good. I need no grot. No, but no grot needs to come here. Eh. Move here to proc and morale check. I think that's good. We can move no grod to do some rotation shenanigans. Uh, you know what? You guys just start working on this one. As long as we have Indom, they can't do anything to us. 20%. Good. Okay, and let's let them all attack. That... Okay, those two are broken. Now we will apply some Overwhelm. I can only puncture once, but I can stab twice. So that's double Overwhelm. Not going to get up into Champion's face. It's going to poke away at it gradually. Oh, right. Klaus come here to taunt. Might be necessary. We'll see. Rhubar both. Bill hook this one. And his turn. No grod. You have to do this. He might push to get at Krog, but I think Krog can survive. Let's see what he does. Gotcha. Got him. Yep. Alright. That's totally fine. He res end your turn immediately. Lots of Indom nonsense. Sure, we'll get on that Orgeon. Then we're going to move here and we should be able to taunt him next turn, taking care of him once and for Earth. Just break him. All right. Everyone was good. Everyone is safe. Yeah, Scarrow likes it when he gets hit. 
Uh, lighter scale armor is destroyed? Really? Huh. Of the beast. Probably should have uh, recovered, actually. Eh. I don't think I used him right this battle, but I don't also don't really care. Good headshot, Aspen. Put Klaus here. That one. Hmm, 48 damage. That is a lot more concerning. Okay. Twenty-seven percent. Uh, just in case, let's swap shields. No reason not to. Krog, you got this. I'll move here. Might want to actually go for a disarm to save us some repair bill. Barb goes up. Hmm, causing certainly my men to have serious morale problems. Okay, we should be able to kill him next turn. In between all my damage, so I'm gonna go up and go for it. Yes! Geralt likes it. Might as well, I like, contribute a little damage. Oh, whoops. I did not count the number of AP I had. Just in case. Well, 78% disarm, alright, didn't work. I'm gonna step up. There we go. Got the Warlord Champion. And the last clown gets killed. Who gets the honor of the killing blow? Um, does have a lot of health. Aya, of course. All right, what do we get from that? Decent Duelist Cleaver. A lot of food, nothing else. The thing is, we just have better gear at this point. I don't really need any of this other garbage. That may be more strange meat. That was a fun fight, huh? We actually took some damage. Uh, Krog was in a small amount. Well, not small. He was actually in pretty serious danger. He missed the first spear wall. If he didn't miss that, there would be no problems. Uh, otherwise... Oh, right, I should have picked up some more orc shields. Eh, it's fine. This campaign's not going to last much longer, so... Good job, everyone. I think that was a fun uh, double battle episode. It could have been two episodes, but, you know... Uh, there was zero chance of losing the battle, and... Extremely low chance of losing anyone. Krog accepted. All right. I will thinking about like recording some more exploration, but this episode is long enough. So you know what? Thank you for watching. Until next time.